jank auto moment. And probably a little bit of self skill, um, self code building when we get done with this. So just avoid one battle right after another. Like, if you go back around the middle, the next battle will start. One person, one of them will see you, and then the right, the left one will see you, I guess. And then the person on the right will see you after that battle, right after. And you won't even get a chance to move, so I'm gonna just do this. Where you can just focus on one person. When I first played this game, I thought these were all double battles, but they're not. Oh well. I hear you, good. Show me. Okay, so I have a bender up front. Black belt, hide geek. Uh, I guess. High key. Hide key. Okay, let's use um, wing attack on this thing. It's a Machop level 32. It should be a Machoke, but oh well. Easy enough for me. Makes my job easier, I guess. Okay, here's a Machoke, okay. We'll go for the air waste then. See how much this does. It'll be super effective, I know that. Oh, I almost want to get rid of it. Nice. Seismic Toss, it's going to do 32 HP on Airbender. Because again, Seismic Toss does this amount of damage. Same HP amount of damage as its level. So, for example, that Machoke was, um, that Machoke was level 32, so it did 32 HP on Airbender there. Let's do the wing attack to finish it off. Yeah, there we go. Ready feed, black boat, high key. Okay, cool. Judge, one point. Okay, thanks for the $7.68, man. Let's see, let's take on this guy next. The, the one on the right, yeah. How oh, uh, you're trespassing in our fighting dojo. Sorry, I kind of want to hit Monchan or hit Mon Lee, obviously. <laughs> Back about Hidoshi. Hidoshi, I don't know. Something about my chop. Okay, this one's level 31. Okay, cool. Let's go for the wing attack on this one. It should one hit KO it. And it does. Awesome. So that goes my chop. Minky, okay, he doesn't, like, I think his last book might be a primate, actually, if I were to guess. So the wing attack hits, okay, good, and takes out the Minky. Cool. Primate, boo, is right nice. Primate is one of the fastest fighting types of Pokemon in the game, so, yeah, but luckily I have render out speeds, so that's good. There we go, nice. When it KO for the wing attack. Yeah, and Airbender's now level 37, awesome. But if you do Black Belt Ho Hotoshi. Okay, oof, I give up. Thanks for the $7.44, man. Okay, so let's go to um, my mean next. Let's take on this guy. On the left. Uh, take your shoes off. Never, I will not take my shoes off. I don't take off my running shoes ever since I put them on. What a RPG joke, how like you never like change clothes or anything in RPGs really. Well I guess like equipment and stuff I guess that's you know exception but you know. Let's go for the side beam on this manky. There we go. It should want to kill it because I'm feeling pretty confident. Yes it does, awesome. Cool. Okay yeah. I like manky, okay. Hey this guy's three Pokemon. So two mankeys and then I'm guessing if I'm a uh, maybe a primate actually. Two minkies and a primate is my guess. The save even takes that minky out. Awesome. Okay, and then primate. Yeah, I was like, cool. For this primate, I'm gonna use a psychic on it. It's level 31. Let's use psychic on it. it um, my me not speeds the primate. That's cool. There we go. And the primate is down. Wave feed black butt mic. Okay, cool. I give up. Thanks for seven dollars and forty-four cents. You guys give out the same like amount of money when prize money, when you guys lose to me. Ha ha ha. Hi yeah. I have no fear for anything tough. I shatter boulders from training every day. For training, for training every day. Okay, that's cool. This is a black belt Aaron. He's, okay, there's one Pokemon. It's probably might be level thirty-six. Ooh, okay. It's cool. Let's go for the psychic. Let's see what it just does. I don't think it'll want to KO it, but we'll see. Of course, I want to kill. Is it cool? I was doubting myself there, and then yeah, cool. My means uh, now level thirty-seven, so that's pretty cool. We defeated Bakbot Aaron. You stub, you st youch, stubbed fingers. Okay, thanks for the eight dollars and sixty-four cents, man. Now all that's left is the um, master guy. So 
take him on. I'll put everyone back to the front there. And let's talk to him. Well, actually, if we go actually to one of the Pokemon, him and him only, he'll say grunt. He'll see you be all shocked and say grunt. I am the Karate Master. I am the leader here. You wish to challenge me? You wish to challenge us? Expect no mercy. Fwah. I beat all your students, per se. Like, just like in, span in the span of like five minutes or less. So, yeah. He starts off with a him on Lee. It's level 37. Okay, cool. Let's go with the wing attack then. Um, yeah, one of the is cool. Nice. And then hit Monchan. Let's switch to, um, my mean for this. Just so, like, you know, everybody can take out the Hitmonchan, or Hitmon Lee, and then Maimin can take out the Hitmonchan. And Hitmonchan is off, I think it's, it's, it's clearly a reference to Jackie Chan, and then Hitmon Lee's a reference to, um, Bruce Lee. They're both fighters in karate and martial arts and all that. So that's pretty cool. Let's go for the Psychic. Oh, I didn't faint the Hitmonchan in one hit, dang it. Thunder Punch, okay. Okay, cool. Let's go for the shockwave. Let's have our own little electric, electric party here, I guess. And there we go, the Hitmonchan goes down. So there we go. We defeated Black Belt, uh, Koichi. Koichi. I'm probably mispronouncing his name. I butchered it, probably. Ha! Oh, Arga beaten! Thanks for $8.88, and cents, man. Okay, so let's talk to him again. Indeed, I have lost, but I beside, beseech you, uh, do not take our emblem as your trophy. In return, I will give you a prized fighting Pokemon. Choose whichever one you like. Whichever one you like. You don't get both of them. You get one of them. So here's on the left side, you get him on Lee. You want the high hard kicking him on Lee. Um, I think either in my, I think either in Pokemon Leaf Green, my original walk the guide, or my Pokemon Fire Red Let's Live Stream series, I picked him on Lee. But I'm gonna pick him on Chan this time. So yeah, I'm gonna say no. And on the right, there's Hitmon Chan. I kind of prefer uh, Hitmon Lee over Hitmon Chan. Uh, when I first played this game, when I first like played Yellow, I'd always pick Hitmon Chan because I thought like how I could use like Thunder Punch, and I don't know if I could actually use Thunder Punch back in the the first gen games, but I'm not sure. But, like I like how the boxing gloves and stuff. I don't know. I'm gonna pick Hitmon Chan this time around. I'm not gonna be using my team or anything. I just use it for my Pokedex, I guess. I give him to give him to Hitmon Chan, of course. Let's get let's name him. I don't know if Jackie Chan will fit, cause like I remember uh, if I did choose uh, him on Lee, I neither uh, those two past projects of mine, Pokemon Leaf Green and Let's Live Stream Pokemon Fire Red. I did I think I nicknamed it Bruce Lee and it fit, but I don't think Jackie Chan fits. Unless I can put no spaces. Unless Jackie uh, Jackie Chan fits without spaces, I guess. Jackie Chan. <laughs> I'll just say it very fast. Jackie Chan. Jackie Chan. Cool. Let's just go with that. I'm hoping I'm spelling that right. It looks like I am. Jackie Chan. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. Okay. Hitmonchan was... Uh, it says, it's it's embarrassed if it's the name, so it just says Hitmonchan. Hitmonchan was transferred to the Bill's PC. It was placed in box... box one. Okay. So we can actually enter, exit the fighting dojo now. Fighting dojo now. We're only at nine minutes in real time in the recording. In recording time, I should say. It's less than nine minutes, obviously, in the actual video, because... Editing at the beginning to when I had to sync this video and stuff like I do every part when I do live commentary and stuff like that Um, let's see. Do I have to put anything in the storage system by the way? Um, no, I don't actually. I'm gonna heal up real quick so I'll meet you guys back on the other side Okay, so we already got the TM29 psychic from Mr. Psychic right here. Here's his house again by the way. Mr. Psychic's house. Cool. We taught that to, um, Mamian, actually. This guy's still taking a snooze, right? Snore. Ha, this guy's taking a snooze. Again, closest to our own dialogue for a character at all in this game for, like, the first time. Except for maybe other times, but I don't think there's really any other time, like, you'd, you'd think the character you're playing as speaks, you know? It's all about the rivals talking, and the Pokemon champs talking, and all the trainers talking. I want to fight you. Yeah, okay, let's put, um... Let's put Trollcuff up to the front. No, I didn't, I didn't even put Giant Queen up to the front. My bad. Sorry. I didn't press it down enough too many times. Okay. So I'm going to switch Trollcuff with Airbender. So Trollcuff's up to the front. And then Mimean can switch with the Firefox. Because, you know, Airbender and Mimean are level 37. And then my four other Pokemon, Giant Green, Starman, Firefox, and Trollcuff are all level 36 still. So let's take on the Sylphco building. This is Sylphco. 
I think we can run in here. Yeah, we can. Okay, cool. It's like a big giant fountain in the middle. Um, but now no, no one's at the front desk. That's odd. It's like Team Rocket's here or something. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna go four by four, so I'm gonna use the steps first because I wanna battle like every trainer in here I can. Because like I love having you know experience and stuff, just battling for the experience and getting prize money, of course, to buy more items and stuff and whatnot. Let's see, I'm at um a little over five hundred thousand in my money right now. Let's take on uh, this rocket gun here. Hey kid, what are you doing wandering around here for? To stop you guys. I knew you guys were in Saffron, so I was just gonna be like, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna spoil Team Rocket's plans again, yay. That's what I do for a living, really. <laughs> At least in this game, that's my objective to do that, is to mess with you guys and stop your plans. Let's go for the Thunderbolt and the Skull Bats. I'm on level 25, so Triple Cuff is 11 levels higher than this thing, so it's a good chance to smite one hit kill. And I'm right, cool. There goes the Gold Bat. Okay, cool. Okay, a Zubat, okay, I'll stay in. A Zubat level 25, okay, nice. Let's go for the strength. Let's see if we can faint it with one strength. I don't think we can go, oh no, one AKO, nice, cool. Again, I'm doubting myself, you know, because I don't want to be overconfident, you know. Another Zubat, okay. He has five Pokemon, so he has three more left, including this Zubat here that's level 25, just like the last one. And this one's also male like the last one too. And it goes down like the last one with one strength. Haha. Uh -huh. Another Zubat. Okay, you have three Zubats, a Golbat, and I don't know if final Pokemon is yet. It might be a Golbat, hopefully. Because you have three Zubats on your team for crying out loud. They're all the same level, all the same gender. Taken down by the same move. For the same amount of times it's being used, which is once. Okay, Radicate, cool. So, let's go with the strength, I guess. Let's see how much it does. And, oh cool, one of kills like that too, wow. Trouble Cuff is on a roll. We defeated the Team Rocket Grant. I goofed. Thanks for $8, man. Really appreciate it.